Trash, that's what's weighing me down. Bunch of trash. Okay. Fusion cells. That's where I keep my fusion cells too, just a regular fire cabinet. Let me in. Fuck. Oh, mag lock doors. Great. Big one on a stick. Definitely what I would have eaten way back in the day. Nothing, Nick. You're fine. <coughs> I hate that you can find individual cigarettes, but you can't equip them and make your character a smoker. Don't ask me why I want my character to smoke cigarettes. I just do. You want to have the option. I w yeah, I want it to be there. I've wanted it since Fallout 3. Are you shitting me? Nope. Shit. Fuck. Of course, it's a legendary Assaultron Dominator, and I fucking couldn't get the big boy out fast enough to just nuke it. Well, I know now, so that's good. Fuck, and when was the last time I saved? Please tell me it saved when I used my pit boy earlier to drop all that shit. Alright, well, this is like the next to last room, I guess. I'm getting tired of how much fucking radiation I'm getting. Like this is a re this is really annoying to deal with. I'm gonna take those perks to reduce my rads. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be a thing. Fuck! Did it again. Well, I guess I can drop those now. Oh. Right, right, I forgot about you. No, oh shit. Oh well, whatever. I have a combination wrench now. Alright, Nick, come here. Alright, Nick, come here. Hey, do something for you? Yeah, trade. Take that and that. Not that. You can take that. 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 That, 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 that. I guess that too. People in the past had weird ideas about where you're supposed to keep live ammunition. 
Val, where did you keep your ammunition when you were in the army? Usually in either uh, magazine pouches and, you know, my magazines. Or I would keep them in, you know, ammunition would be in, uh, you know, magazines in my assault pack. See, I was really, ho I was like half hoping you would say something like legitimate and that made sense. And half hoping you were just going to say something ridiculous. What? Ah, damn it, it's legendary. That's right. Fucking... I mean, I always kept the spares, you know, in my butt, just in case. No, I, uh... Actually kept an extra nine millimeter and an extra five five six in my helmet. An extra nine millimeter and an extra five five six just in your helmet. Yeah, kept them in the uh, uh, cat's eye band, just in case I ran out of absolutely all of the other ammo that I carried. I had a fucking nine millimeter and a five five six to make sure I never got caught by the enemy. Well, that makes sense. Icebreaker override. Good. I'm going to go ahead and equip my icebreaker right now and just hang out at the back of the map. <coughs> I get it. They're bugs. If you're listening to this, then you made it inside my memory banks. Take a moment. I know it's a lot at once. I don't know why this fucking room doesn't work. The architecture you're seeing is data. Is it? My data. When I'm plugged into the chair, this is what I see. You're using an earlier version of that technology. A brainwave scanner instead of a direct neural wire. Look around. Do you see that yellow column in the distance? That's long-term memory storage. That's your goal. But you can't just retrieve that data. Oh. One of the programs loaded in that holotape is called the Indexer. They're represented by the friendly green sprites milling around. Do you see them? I do. Indexers have one purpose, to get the data in the yellow column and bring it back to the memory access point. You need to help them get there and back safely. Once they've recovered all the data in the memory, the program will translate it into something you can understand. Max, is this if how programming you need works? To leave the simulation, then don't worry. Nothing gets reset. You can keep going from wherever you left off. First thing I don't first. even know. The blue blocks you're standing on are called code blocks. Some of them can be repurposed. See if you can grab one of the lighter colored blocks. Use them to fill in any gaps along the path for your indexers to cross. Max, this is how coding works, right? Like, I, I can go, I can go, like, program robots and stuff now, right? Indeed, you just plug yourself in and roam around. Oh, that's good to know. Is that the Max that's in there? Yeah, Parkour Man. That's, uh, that's my friend Max, yeah. Oh. Good. You are across the gap. But now you have to deal with the security systems. That red firewall is blocking you and your indexers from reaching the data. Do you see that green beam of light? That's a decoder beam. It can destroy the firewall. 
You just need to direct the beam to its vulnerable spot. I'm a programmer now. I'm a programmer now. Allie, are you proud? Allie, are you proud? Good. Now you just need to create a path to the data with code blocks, and your indexers can get to work. I watched enough 90s, watched 90s TV shows to know that this is really legit. This is how coding works. Staff the has been alerted to your presence. Now things will get hairier. You'll need to deploy defense constructs against the system's active countermeasures. The system's sentries will do <coughs> everything they can to stop your indexers from returning to the access point with the data. Program. <laughs> Wait till you find out every program has Tron in it. Intrusive indexer detected. Another data block retrieved. One more to go. Sentry initiating erasure of intrusive indexer. Get ganked. Sentry beginning erasure protocol against unauthorized indexer. Verifying memory file, 100%. Yay! Yay! We now have an access point into the next memory. <coughs> Step into the data stream. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Memory was stored. Oh, Jesus. No. Memory file identification, 0V-9AX0. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. Things are not going well with Far Harbor. Several of my people have been assaulted, spat at, interrogated for no reason. <laughs> this is getting out of control. But there's still a chance they can learn to trust us. We just need one of their own who's on our side. Like Batman. I can't let anyone know what I'm about to do. I'll need to set up the equipment far away from Acadia. No double is place to bury the evidence. Additional location data appended. A makeshift medical facility underneath the VIM. Pop factory. Coordinates downloaded. <coughs> oh, okay, there's a... I can't jump. How am I supposed to get back up there? How am I 